Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and before we start this video, please don't be upset, this game will be a flex one against platinum diamond something because the queue times in solo queue are so freaking long, I waited 25 minutes just to get top and then to dodge. I won't queue again to wait half an hour, I might not even make ever a video again if I have to wait, but I promise you once the season start, I will, uh, I will make... Mostly, I think only solo queue videos with Talia, because you can see me on my climb from the start towards Grandmaster, maybe Challenger in Season 11, we're gonna see. Today we're going to talk about a Talia guide, we're going to talk about Zonia, that's one thing, and the second thing we're going to talk about the insane movement speed that Ludens, which is this, plus Sork Shoes, which is this, plus Relentless Hunter provide. So this entirety of things, right? We're gonna talk all of these. I'm playing with Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter, Prince of Mind, Cup de Grace, and these rune stats. I'm against the Malzahar, I also believe Relentless Hunter is currently better than Ravenous. I'm having one zillion, two genes, two zillion, one gene, gene, zillion players. That's funny. <laughs> sort of. Okay, and I'm playing against the comp that relies on Lila, Malzahar, Zillian, sort of poke, sort of... Uh, Disengage, they have a lot of disengage if you try to do so with Zillian Alt, with Lila Sleep, with Malzahar, I just got poked. And so today we're going to try to farm this properly, we're gonna try to go for the Ludens into Sork Shoes into Zonia, we're going to try to see why exactly... Ugh, I'm tired, I lost 2 CS already. Yikes. We're gonna see why exactly I think this is a strong, uh, a strong uh, item and yeah we could start theorizing a lot but in uh, the context of flat gold if you were to talk about it Zonia is probably the best item in the game right now because of the active and the cost. The active you can't really say there is a better active in the game. I don't think besides the collector maybe which is quite good but I, I don't think there is an item into the League of Legends catalog that was or is stronger than Zonia and I guess and I believe that because of the insanely low cost of Zonia I guess you can get it every single game after your main mythic item uh, either Ludens or Lyandris I don't see which one is the best you gotta play with both I like uh, Lyandris more in tank matchups, I play sometimes with Ludens as well, but I think I'm a Lyandris player for now. You could definitely go for Ludens, test both, see whichever you like. Uh, do not, please do not play with Everfrost, I tried to, it's just insanely bad. I'm gonna use Ignite here, gonna have a flash probably, or not. He should have flashed honestly, that he could have escaped with a good flash there because he got hit by the W and so he will likely teleport so we recall right here so we have time to get for the the item the parts of uh, amplify of lost chapter so uh, amplifying top and sapphire crystal we already have a shake code that's 3-0 even though if I don't get zone at this game we're still going to talk about it okay because it might be uh, a chance for the game to end before uh, before we actually have time to uh, get the Zonia. But we do have the Ludens, the movement speed, the whole part of the video, so that's going to be enough. I already have one stack of Relentless Hunter, so that's amazing. I'm losing CS, it's because I'm insanely tired. I'm always making this video late after work, so uh, I can't really always provide the best gameplay. Okay, and he was definitely seen. At least he removed the shield. So again, one argument for Zonia is the uh, insanely low cost, the second argument is the insanely good active, that those combined, I'm seeing pings, those combined make this item, if used correctly, one of the strongest into the game. Now she should go down towards that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flash if needed. Hello. I'm, I'm not gonna get help here, right? What is she doing? I, I think she's tilted and running it down at this point. I lost a lot of CS with the roam, but because our Shaco is 4-0, we couldn't... 3-0 at that time, we couldn't let him lose the bounty. Again, look at their team comp. 
Zonia could theoretically save you after a Malzahar ult because let's say Ta would uh, come in time by the Zonia end and we lose W on you. Zonia could save you if you were in their team from a Vladimir ult, from a Shaco gank to delay it for your support to CC. It would help you in a lot of contexts. Zonia could be even used for say Lila slip before it. You can see the cast time. You can definitely just cast Zonia before it. I believe this item provides a lot, a lot of utility. He has flash. He has flash, so I have to back off. Because I was talking too much and didn't really bother. So I think I want to get the cannon. Though. I'm going to get the cannon first. He can't really kill me. A Malzahar can't dive you. So I'm just going to recall now. He's probably going to E me or something. And I'm going to get annoyed. Okay. But he doesn't have any more mana. So I think we could just stay and farm a bit more. Because he just used it on spells. So a well-timed Zonia from all abilities in the game. That's... Imagine the good bard ult. That's the same. Zonia is bard's ult. Bard's ult is Zonia. That item's capability is something that can make or break your game. And that's why I think I am going to start buying it every single game second. Because I believe it's very strong and provides a lot of utility in that matter. And because of the price. So that's my thesis on that. Uh, what you gotta do though if you want to play with it besides the armor advantage the, oh, the active advantage that's all you gotta learn but you gotta time it properly okay you gotta see in every single game of yours what are the best zonia use cases and to learn that best one uh, argument would be to look over replays your own replays while using zonia could help you improve in understanding of how to use zonia better that's all you gotta do after that, if you still don't understand what you do wrong, you could simply just watch some streams, some players that, uh, not necessarily Tuliames, but some players that pick Zonia in general, and so you could definitely gain some uh, insight from that. We're gonna do a deep word around here, so we can see that side of the map. Malzahar is also coming back, I'm gonna break the shield, I think he's, I'm, I'm feeling bad for I'm feeling bad because he was a, he was definitely a tab. Man, I'm sorry for that. And he called me a pussy. Because he alt tapped or something. Oh no. I didn't see Yep, yep, I trolled. I could have lived. But I'm a pussy, so <laughs> I suppose not. Yeah. I'm gonna get the kill. I'm gonna get the kill. I put a vision word there. I'm gonna buy another one. I'm, got the, I'm gonna get the Sorkshus because I have two Rentless Hunter stacks. One from the Lila, one from the Balzahar. And I think two from the Balzahar. No, I got the Assist on Lila. You can't get two stacks from the same champion. I got one from the Assist on Lila and one from the Killer Malzahar. It's, I'm, I'm insane. I'm insanely bad at this. Alright, so we got the boots. I suggest early boots in the games in which... Well, the, the higher you go in ELO, I observe that the faster you need boots because people buy boots faster at higher ELOs and that actually means that you have to get them too because you don't want the enemy, pff, whatever champion, to catch you. Getting Sorg Shoes earlier will also enable you to actually dodge a lot more uh, skills from the opponent. So, stuff like uh, Syndra's Q cast an ult here he has no i'm gonna do a insanely bad w there did he flash yep he had flash apparently why didn't he cast flash before if she chases then she's gonna be immediately stopped wait can i can i do this uh, I know I know he has no flash because he just used it. I thought he had it and before fight he could have escaped. But I can't get close now because because of that trade. Uh <laughs> I will just I will just recall. He deals a lot of damage uh that's easy to deal, how to say. See I'm just spacing it properly. I'm gonna get ulted I think. The, he should have ulted me there, I would have died. That I'm just gonna 
I could I could help him there. Man, just 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 man. Man. Look at that. That's free. I don't know, Shaco in Shaco into this one I think. Alright. The next item we're gonna go for is blasting wand right here. I'm gonna go towards her. I don't think she can go that way, but Man, I hate this goat. I can't hit her. I really hate the goat. <laughs> it's so hard. She went for boots, armor boots. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair into a Shaco. Uh, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy there? What are you doing? Is Camille protecting you or something? Yeah, I think I'm gonna get... Oh! Oh damn it! <laughs> I'm trolling at all. But I think he's still dead. Yep. I mean, I almost killed the Camille with that outplay, but the uh, Camille is strong, so we won't <laughs> get easy kills on that. Look at my man! Don't, don't, don't kill him! Don't kill him! Don't kill him! No! If you die now, it's worthless. It's, it's worthless. Anyway. Uh, it's good that the game goes a little bit longer simply because I could uh, My man outplaying them simply because I could uh, Showcase that Zonia usage. Okay, so she died because well She overextended on that Again Malzahar is coming back. I am playing suboptimal right now to be honest pretty much a product of late hours and I'm not really hitting the abilities, but this gank was fairly simple because of the insane damage he does with Kraken Slayer. The third out attack is gonna be the kill, generally. Nice, got that there. Have to, I have two vision words again, and I'm gonna try to make use of them. So let me just push this real quick. I see no Camille. Yeah, I have ult. The Camille would be a problem, but I could just ult out if the if the Lila sleep hits. You can ult out while the Lila is uh, seeing you with the slip. Same with Zoe. You can ride it for a while if you don't get damaged by something else. All right, so we can uh, get the vision word. We can just put it deeply there. Okay, and we can go for a roam with the insane movement speed combo that we have. Can just wait here Te technically we could wait here but i don't want to because i could go back to mid now with the help of shaco could definitely go back mid go hello man okay let's get the cannon wait no don't ah! <laughs> that was sad you haven't seen anything that was very very sad Okay, Shaco is pretty much creating a gap on both with this, but you can see how strong Lila is. Man, what's that champion? Wow. <laughs> what's with Lila though? Uh, it, the, Lila lost very hard early and it's still in the game. At, she lost insanely hard and she's still in the game because Shaco is not a hyperscaling champion. It, Right now, it's sad, but that's the truth. You can be fed with Shaco, but you can still do bad with him. I mean, I'm just running around the map at this point. <laughs> I don't mind it. I enjoy it. But yeah, I want to reach that zone, yeah. Again, suboptimal playstyle. Uh, okay. Questionable behavior. Please don't kill me, Bomb. Okay, didn't work. I tried to speak nicely. <laughs> oh, she had heal! Come on. Come on, mate. She had heal. I'm gonna get the Zonia now to be sure that I won't die to the... To the... Bombs. Six kills, Zillian. <laughs> Zero kills. This is the definition of your typical support bottling. <laughs> yeah, that's the meme right there. Uh, I think we're gonna lose 
top tower because the teleport was not that good. I'm, I'm actually going top. Because I have the movement speed to reach that faster than the uh, Vladimir. So basically we have movement speed from Ludens, movement speed from Boots, movement speed from the passive, movement speed from Landless Hunter. We got it all. So we're not really slow. <laughs> we are very fast with four stacks as well. I want to one versus one that that Camille. I want to. I want to. Come on, fight me. I want level eleven though first. Okay, now I'm ready to fight. Come on. I'm a Talia top player. I'm gonna destroy you. Let's let's fight. If she jumps here, she's dead. But of all accounts, she's definitely dead if she jumps. Now just be careful to the ult and yep. Didn't cast the W because I knew she would try to W my ult. So I won before that, right? So we didn't waste cast time time with that. Cast time just once. Don't know why I said it twice. They see me now, I have to get this. And after you get the vision word, that's an interesting tip that I always I sometimes see it on the very best players. After you get the vision word, try to switch direction quickly from which you want to go, from a direction which you want to go. Because you can still see for like two seconds, or well, like one, one half, half of a second actually, you can still see the direction the player goes. So if you get the vision word and you want to go this way, you can just uh, click that way and they will think, well, well, he definitely didn't go that way. So you can switch the direction after you got that not sure if i explained that properly but i tried my best there anyway we are five kills in we are pretty much destroying them shako shako is gonna hit her for a lot no no auto attack i'm gonna get this hopefully shako doesn't mind getting blue to talia is oh so nice giving blue to talia well I see a bit of int there. I see a lot more int there. I mean, I could just kill you all here. Come to me. <laughs> I'm not gonna cast all to that. Boop! <laughs> I was completely safe. I also had Zonia. And that was before I actually got to that point. But look, Shaco is destroying top, even though Tap got caught, caught, caught there. Uh, we are doing exceptionally fine. But again, Zonia use cases, man. Try to predict the moment where the burst of the old damage or the burst of an ability will come. It, for example, if, if someone plays against Lia, uh, they could simply Zonia the moment Lia puts the W under her right it's the under the champion so i'm fighting it oops i mean that's just broken i'm protecting you protecting you i'm not gonna protect you no Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That was a troll flash, but got it. Gonna just, gonna just put the vision there. So, uh, let's say you someone plays against Leah, right? The best time to use exhaust and the best time to use ignite, uh, Zonia. Sorry, exhaust and Zonia are two things that actually counter Leah pretty hard. So, let's say you're against you're against someone who has exhaust on mid. If you manage to hit W, if and they react in time to see that you're going to hit W, then they can just exhaust you and you're going to lose half your combo and you're likely going to win the trade because Talia has rather large cooldown on the early game. Same goes with Zonia. If they Zonia, your combo on a 1 versus 1 fight on mid and you have nothing. They, the Zonia is 2.5 seconds, your combo is in 30 seconds again. So theoretically, someone who does that can just, you know... Ooh. I could just... I can't even Zonia, man. He just took it away from me. He just took my zone. I wanted to zone out to showcase that. I, I could go in aggressively 
and then cast Zonia, and Tom could eat me after, but I guess he just... Oops, they surrendered. So yeah, that's that's the game, guys. I haven't even used Zonia, I'm gonna use it now. Look, perfect end pulse. But that's the point of the, the general ability usage of Zonia, and I guess I am pretty sure that if you go... I'm not saying go uh, Lyandry or go Ludens, test them both, I'm not advising for either. But I'm saying go for a Zonia second and try to see how it feels, because I'd say it would be a very good, uh, a very good example of a strong one of the strongest items in the game, and you could use it. You could use it to practice. You could use it to climb, and obviously, you need a bit of training with it, because uh, it might not work from the first moment. So you need a bit of training to practice when that burst will come. Why am I getting all the votes all right? I was actually first in damage by a rather large margin, even more than Sheikho. I dealt 15k, he dealt 15,000, he dealt 12,000. I could show you that screen, but not really, because my OBS is bugged. <laughs> so yeah, practice the Zonia usage, that's the lesson for today. And try the movement speed thingy with passive, Ludens, Relentless Hunter... There was something else that I'm forgetting. Re uh, yeah, well, that. <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, and Sork Shoes, early Sork Shoes, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this kind of videos, and see you next time. Have a wonderful start of the week, because I think it's Monday. I think. <laughs> and see you next time, guys. Goodbye.